Hi, everybody. This is Pamela Coey, and I'm very honored to have Kathy Vizzani on the line with me for this video. We're making this together to let you know about an upcoming workshop in Oaxaca, Mexico, in October 18th to the 26th in 2019. So here is Kathy. Hi, Pam. It's so nice that you can call and we can chat about this trip because it's very exciting. Awesome. And so you're located in Gig Harbor. Yep, in Washington. Uh, and that's where I kind of started all this. I've been going to Oaxaca for over 25 years. First with Marilyn Towson as Culinary Adventures. We took people on culinary trips to Mexico with Rick Bayless, Diana Kennedy. And then I switched to doing my own trips about four years ago. And now I combine art and food, two of my wow. favorite passions. Well, you look pretty happy there. I remember taking this picture of you in San Miguel. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that was nice. It was a beautiful yeah. evening. It really was. And, and how about Anna Elena, who is the chef as part of Bellissima? So Anna Elena and I started about the same time with Culinary Adventures. So we've been working together for these 25 years. And when I switched over to doing my own trips, then Anna Elena works with me on my trips um, in Mexico and probably when we go to Spain or other countries where Spanish is needed since she's fluent and I'm not. <laughs> her Spanish is amazing. Yeah, I got a chance to hear her. And she, um, just all of you out there, she was um, this amazing chef. And I got to meet her as well when I taught in San Miguel in Mexico last year, 2018. And so I'm very um, excited to be invited to teach in Oaxaca. And I'll be teaching my cold wax and oil painting course, which is the powerful design and personal color in cold wax and oil. So we just wanted to show you some images of Oaxaca and what you might be um, experiencing when you go there because it's new to me as well. So I wanted Kathy to really talk to you about um, Oaxaca. And so here's a map. Um, what can you say about where it's located, Kathy? Okay, so Oaxaca is, um, Oaxaca City in the state of Oaxaca is south of Mexico City. And it's a very artsy, Everybody goes there for the art. There's weaving, black pottery. It's called the land of the seven moles, although they have more than that. So it's food, art, just everything. It's just a beautiful place to go. I love going there. It's one of my favorite places. It's very easy to walk around there as opposed to San Miguel where it's a little hillier. Yeah. This is a lot more flatter. Um, there is so much to do in Oaxaca. One week, you can hardly touch upon what is there. So it's, you'll, you'll come back again. Once you go there once, you'll go yeah. back again. I have heard from people it is like their favorite place to go. I, I've heard that about San Miguel. And then when I started to mention Oaxaca, they're like, oh, but I like Oaxaca even better. And that really surprised me because I love San Miguel. Can you talk yeah. about where people fly into to get to Oaxaca? Well, there's an airport just 20 minutes outside of the city. Mm -hmm. So they'll fly right in there. There's... Uh, there's taxis there 24 7 and it's just a short ride to the city okay awesome where we're staying at la noria okay great so um basically kathy since um a lot of people that i work with they may not know a lot about what to expect from one of your bellissima artscape workshops and um they're, they're pretty um full featured so i thought you could kind of look at some of these photos that you sent to me uh that you took in Oaxaca and just you know kind of talk about what people might expect. Sure this is Lenoria this is where we stay we've been staying here for a long time uh, there's an open central atrium there so that's where you eat or you can have breakfast out there or lunch and then uh, each room has its own ensuite so you don't have to share bathrooms with anyone else it's just a really nice hotel they, um, they, they treat us very well and we have an, a room out there in the back in the courtyard that is just for us. So we can go in and out whenever we want. So you can work late at night, just have to get the key from me or on Elena. That's amazing. It's so gorgeous. Yeah. And, and it's right across the street from the textile museum, which always has wonderful exhibits and it's free. And there's a whole block around there that you'll be able to walk around and see the exhibits just right across the street from where we stay. Oh, that's, that's just oh, And whenever we're there, there's always a parade of some kind. Never <laughs> failed. <laughs> sometimes we join, sometimes you just watch. And then the colors. The colors just blow you away. Yes, there's a lot of uh, really wonderful textures on the walls. So you'll, you'll be taking a lot of pictures. It's deteriorating, but it's the colors, it's texture, and as artists, we all love, and then, of course, there's that. <laughs> the wonderful, I don't know if that car is still there. I took that out. Uh, 
a couple years ago, but there's always something interesting in the oh, streets. Yeah. yeah. And mm -hmm. dancing, lots of dancing. There's always something going on. And we're going to be there at a particular time that there's going to be a lot of activity because everyone's getting ready for Diez de los Muertos, Day oh. of the Dead. Okay. So people will be building their ofrendas, which are altars to um, honor their loved ones who have passed. So you'll be seeing a lot of things being built, people getting their costumes ready. There's all a ton of stuff going on when we're there. I see. Wow, look at the crowd around there. And um, so are like these types of things happening just all the time or is it like on weekends? Yes, all the time. In, wow. the, uh, in the market, in the Zocalo. I think Judy took this that it looks like she went... She went somewhere where they were specifically, they were having dances. Cool. You'll see there's a big place up on the hill in Oaxaca where they have these um, dancers come from all the different villages and they have uh, contests and festivals. Okay, awesome. Yeah, that's beautiful. So this is, um, this is a, a photo that I took in San Miguel. So um, this is our studio there. And I, because I've never been to Oaxaca, I do not yet have a photo of the studio that's going to be in Oaxaca, but Kathy, maybe you can just talk a little bit about, you know, what students can expect. Well, this, the room is, this one here in San Miguel, we have a lot of windows because it was upstairs. The room we're in, in Oaxaca is like a, just a big room and then they have double doors that open up and we have a terrace outside. So there's a lot of light that comes in from there and you can walk in and out. Um, we'll have some things outside where you can put things to dry. It's a big room and it's all to ourselves. So you'll have a little more room than we did in San Miguel. <laughs> That's really wonderful. Yeah, you can see that the students are, um, they're working on their, um, their four square paintings. And so we'll be doing a similar thing. Anybody who comes to the workshop, like if you've been to one of my previous workshops and you come to this one, I just want to put out there that I can certainly give you additional, like more challenging things to do. Like if you're a more advanced artist, the powerful design and personal color is the course I teach, but I have a lot of people that come to multiple workshops. So whenever that happens, I basically customize it for you. So if you're interested in this workshop, don't feel like you're going to be doing the same thing. Um, we can certainly challenge you more. There are a lot of ways to do that. So, And you do do that because you did that to a couple of the students here that have been in your classes before. Yeah, that's and right. These classes Sally. are just wonderful. You learn so much. It's just amazing. Thank you. Yeah, I think your brain kind of hurts by the time you leave my workshop. <laughs> it does those first two days. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but then when the dust settles, it's kind of like, oh, I guess that kind of makes sense. Yeah, and here we were on the terrace, and there's uh, Nancy Moore. She was working large. So again, you know, she she was a um, an artist who um, came with a little bit more experience, and she just wanted to work large. So she put several sheets of paper together that can all be done. Uh, there's so many different ways to work. Um, that's Mary on the right hand side and she's showing her finish four squares. A lot of people will finish, you know, several paintings. And then of course there's the food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the food of Oaxaca. So this is up on top of uh, La Olla where our friend Pilar um, Cabrera will be giving us um, our first get together where we have we celebrate being together and it's on the rooftop so you'll be able to see um, the city at night the church which is not far away there's probably be fireworks uh, and she does a really wonderful job and it's great food that looks so appetizing and then like that time of year is it pretty warm there um it can be a little cold at night so you know uh you just bring a yeah. something you can wear at night sure okay we are outside quite a bit at night so You'll want yeah. to do that. So then this is Ana Elena making, she did a cooking class for us in San Miguel, and she'll be doing that in Oaxaca as well. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that was so much fun. She even gave us the recipes, and um, we got to try everything. Of course. Every meal. I mean, whether Anna made the meal, you know, and you were helping her, but whether, I just want to explain that, you know, whether it's Anna, Elena, and you making the, the meals, uh, whether we went out, it just seems like, I mean, obviously you've been there so many times. It felt like you, you knew the restaurants well. And so we only had the best of the best. That's kind of how I felt like you have such limited time and there's no hit or miss here. It's like you really, really planned this so well. And I, I was just so impressed. <laughs> well, it's important to eat well. <laughs> yeah, it is. And yeah, because um, we expend a lot of energy doing what we do, not just painting, but exploring and then there's shopping. And <laughs> yeah, well, we always try to combine something that's local with, you know, what we're doing, not only eating, but visiting museums or artists. 
-hmm. And here's our chef, Chef Rodolfo from Orihan, who has won, he was the very first top chef in Mexico in 2016, his restaurant in Oaxaca. He uses local ingredients and he elevates it to another level. And he's in the top 50 restaurants in Mexico and he's opened a second restaurant um, in Mexico City. He's really wonderful. Sometimes he's there, sometimes he's not because he travels back and forth between the two restaurants. But the food is always amazing. Beautiful table and colors and... Oh, so this, this is, this is uh, a very large alabria. This is made out of, carved out of wood. And then the master painters sit there and they paint that. Wow. And we'll be visiting there and you'll be able to make your own small alabria. Wow. Yeah, we've been going there for over 20 years. They're very good to us. Mm -hmm. uh, really nice and it's fascinating to watch yeah. what they do. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to see. This is just so um, intricate, and I can't even imagine the amount of patience that it would take to do something yeah. like this. Yeah. Wow. And what about this? So this is black pottery. It's, it's in a village um, just outside of Oaxaca. It was a mistake. The glazing was a mistake, and then they, they've turned it into a whole industry, and there's just a whole village that just makes this black pottery in all huh. different forms. And the black pottery, is that because of like the, the darkness of the clay or? No, the clay was red, but it's how they fired it. Something happened and then they, they, it turned out to be black and they liked it. So they just have done it ever since then. That's gorgeous. They're the only ones that do it. Okay. And uh, more this is Abigail Mendoza. She's a, a weaver in Teotetlan de Valle. A lot of weaving comes out of that village and they're just beautiful weavings. And she's, she's wonderful. We've known the Mendozas for a very long time, the whole family. And yeah. her brother was an internationally known weaver who died a few years ago. So what's going on here? So this is a place that we're going to visit where they show us how they make paper. And that's paper that's drying on those tin plates. Okay. Wow. And then we get to go and visit where they they have some of their finished work and you can buy the paper. Oh, and I... My favorite stops. Yeah, I bet. And I should add that, you know, you can do cold wax and oil painting on any paper. All you have to do is treat it with either, you know, gesso, or if you don't want something that's quite so opaque, you can actually use like a clear gesso. So I'll be sure to bring that because when you have paper like this, you kind of want to use it. <laughs> it's really beautiful. Yeah. Okay. yeah, it's beautiful paper, you'll yeah. see. Okay. And then here's some of the alabrias that you'll be able to paint. So here is my favorite um, Potter, she does the little angels. She's the only one that does the angels. So mm. they're, they're little women with angels and they hold candles. And I have like six of her pieces. She's right? fabulous. And they sit there and they'll, she'll make one right in front of you. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. You'll see some of the black pottery to her left there on the, that her um, brother makes. And he makes some of those little, little doodads there on the front too, with little animals that he shows people. Yeah. But she's making an angel. That's fabulous. Yeah. And more colors. Lots of parades. There's always something going on. <laughs> and yeah, this is our group that was in San Miguel, but I, I just wanted to show you those tall puppets in the back, the Moji Ganjas, because they're going to also be in Oaxaca. And uh, yeah, well, we had a, a chance to go to the studio there and um, had a chance to make our own puppets. So in every workshop that Kathy um, organizes, uh, there, it's very experiential. So, you know, you come, you, you learn the type of art that's being featured, but then she's very good at pulling in, you know, cultural awareness and uh, the types of things that really help you to understand and, and get a feel for the craftspeople there and you know what makes the area really super special and in this case in San Miguel that was a really big feature everybody really enjoyed that. Yeah Erme and his family is very nice so here's more of the kinds of uh, big puppets that you'll see in Oaxaca and, and last time we were there for Day of the Dead last year there was there was a lot of fireworks and a dancing bull that was not <laughs> a real one but it was people you know behind it but it's pretty <laughs> So this, somebody must have gotten married and this is their, oh, okay. yeah, oh, and, and this was their little parade. Okay, yeah. A lot okay. of people come to the big church uh, in Oaxaca to get married from all over. Okay, very cool. Yeah, I don't have control of my mouse. <laughs> so <I'm thinking. laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> yeah, I think that's what it is. But um, beyond that, I'm, I'm computer challenged. <laughs> 
And Here's some of the work you'll see. There's a lot of artists um, all throughout um, Oaxaca and several galleries that you can just walk in and out of. And it's just amazing there. I really love the work there. Well, I can hardly wait. I, I kind of wish that we were closer to the time, but you know, um, I know. not that far away. And uh, maybe you could talk a little bit. I'm going to um, share the link where you can actually sign up for this workshop and learn more about this particular one in Oaxaca. So, so this is Kathy. Hi. I guess if people are interested in this workshop, they can certainly go to your wonderful website, which is www.bellissimaartescapes.com. And if you guys have as much difficulty spelling that <laughs> as I do, I will have a link for all of you. Um, it's been one of the most challenging words I've had to learn. <laughs> two L's, two S's, okay. and two A's. All right. Well, thank you, Kathy, so much. I, I really appreciate your time.